Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my Collectibles Guide for Kena Bridge of Spirits. In this video we're going to be doing Tarot's Tree, the whole area of Tarot's Tree. It's kind of the second area you go to. Uh, it's the one just to the right hand side of the village as you can see on the map here. So with these videos I'm just completing each area as uh, fully as possible. So getting everything in this uh, Tarot's Tree. To get everything in Tarot's Tree you will need to have finished Forgotten Forest and let's say dealt with taro himself um so you're gonna have to do all of that first before you're able to get everything so we're gonna be getting everything in this area so that's all of the rot all of the um hats and flower shrines there is one meditation point as well but that is not marked on the, the sort of maps overview so again i've done this after finishing you will do you will want to do this once you have finished taro's area so finish this off completely so it's all opened up uh, you if you're doing this as you come through here the first time i'll let you know kind of what you can and can't get so this you can get so there's going to be a fight here and then you just use the water on the right hand side and you'll be able to get that first rot so we're starting very at the very start here just very close to the the village and i'm going to do a complete run through of the whole area um as in the order you would sort of go through it to make it as clear as possible if you're here wondering about meditation points i'm going to mention this in every video uh if you're struggling to find the last one you need to finish the game again simple as that the last uh thing you do in the game is sit at a meditation point and um that one counts towards it the trophy if you're wondering so the next thing we got here is the flower shrine so at the second teardrop for this area uh, use the flower sh uh, teardrop sorry and then use the flower shrine on the uh, left hand side again you don't need to interact with it for it to count although if you do you get those crystals so it's obviously worth it and then once you're doing that you're going to run up done with that sorry you're going to run up here stumbling all over the place today you're going to run up here uh, climb across and continue on to the third teardrop where there's going to be two different things this is a very short area as you can see the video is quite short compared to the others uh, nice and straightforward but unfortunately you can't get everything until you finished the other areas around it <laughs> yeah you're gonna find that a lot with uh, this game to be honest there's very few areas you can finish the first time you go through them this you can get the first time you come through here and the previous one the shrine as well so you got this rot here so that's the third teardrop there's going to be another fight here before that's uh, available of course and then uh, break through the the red stuff and get the rot here from this uh, stone and then staying in this area, in a moment, we're going to go and get the first hat. So you can see I already have a hat marked on my counter there. Ignore that for now. This is the first hat you're going to be able to get. The The hat I've already got is part of the story. I'll show you where you will expect to get that. Uh, you probably already got that, so it doesn't matter if you've already been through this area. But for now, get the tier. Use the tier again. And come over to the right-hand side. And break the tree so you don't need to break that but I have to <laughs> if you do a pulse here you'll also get some crystals there's one of those hanging things above you and that's hat quotation marks number one that's the bow so I do have two don't worry we'll be getting that it, it count will be off and that's it for this bit we're going to be moving on into so if you're coming through here the first time you're gonna to have to break all of through here there's gonna be loads of the uh the red stuff if i remember correctly is the red stuff there i think there is uh, and then you when you run through here it's gonna be very dark it's essentially gonna be night time but once you've finished the area it all brightens up and it's daytime so look for that lamp on the left hand side as you're kind of running along look for the lamp here and then go into this sort of uh alcovey bit and look for the log and that's going to be rot number three and that's where we are very close to the actual uh, fast travel point of tarot's tree next we're going to be getting a flower shrine which is right here uh, but it actually starts off back where i was it'll make sense in a moment so there's the actual shrine, but we need a, a tier. To get the tier, you're going to need to hit these uh, sparkly crystals, whatever you want to call them, in order, sort of follow the, the sparkles around. 
you will be under a time limit. I, I've not failed one of these yet. Uh, I don't know what the time limit is on these. It's quite generous, so uh, I don't think you're going to struggle to uh, to link all those together. Once you have, you're going to get the tier. If you do fail, obviously, just try again. And then you want to take it back to the flower shrine. There we go. So once it smashes in, then it's counted. But you might as well go and get the crystals as well. And that's where we are on the map, on the edge. So that's all of the flower shrines. That's just two in this area. All done. Next is another rot. That blue ball hanging from the tree there, you can shoot that for some crystals as well. Uh, and then we're going to be using this purple one, which is a rot. So shoot that one. Look out for the lamp and it's next to that tree. It's on that tree next to it. No hats from rots this time, unlike the previous video. Then we're going to be getting another rot straight away. It's just around the corner. There's going to be a three rocks here. Now, the two times I've done this, it's been in this middle rock. If you do the other two, enemies will come after you. Uh, so just choose the middle one. You're going to see the other rocks disappear. Choose the middle rock. This, the one that's under the sunlight, I think that's kind of the obvious point there. You'll see the others disappear. They were the wrong ones. And that is uh, rock number five. Another blue uh, ball hanging from the... Uh, the tree there, but that's not needed for trophies, so I'm not going to be getting any of that sort of stuff. So you will need the bow for this bit. You will need it for the rock previous as well. So that the first time you go through here, you won't have the bow. Run straight over to here. We're going to get to the hat number two. This is a butterfly. You can also grab that purple fruit on there. Uh, give it to the rock to get the extra... I don't know what it's called. Swirly snail magic stuff in the top right corner there. I don't know. The snail shaped stuff. It probably has a name. I've just missed it. And then use the bow to go back across. And now we're going to circle all the way back round. And this bit you definitely need a bow for. We definitely needed a bow for that last one. But <laughs> yeah, you can't do this without a bow either. So from the main fallen tree, jump across to this other fallen tree and uh, use the bow to get up here. Again, th when you're here the first time, this whole area is going to be kind of dark. There's going to be the red stuff everywhere. Uh, and you're not going to be able to do too much. So that's why we finished the area before doing the cleanup. Uh, you can shoot the thing on the tree there for some more crystals if you want to. And then we're climbing all the way. We are basically back to where we started. Uh, when we came into this woody area. And there we go, number six. So you can see we're right back at the start. So just a quick run all the way back to the main fallen tree for the last few now. Uh, so you can see Taro's mask is the next thing. That is the hat, the story-related hat. Um, you will get that once you've dealt with Taro. So um, have I been saying Taros? Kind of putting that S at the end. Anyway, Taro's, Taro's uh, mask. So once you've finished Forgotten Forest and you come back here, you've got all of the artifacts and you've stepped into the, uh, the circle here, uh, you'll deal with Taro. And then the uh, you'll get the mask. So this I've just kind of skipped back to when I finished the area. You can see Taro's mask there. So I've just dealt with him and I've come back to uh, where we were. And then this will be available once you've uh, dealt with him as well, the meditation spot. This is the only one for the area. So you can't miss this again. So you're going to get the mask, the meditation point, once you've finished that part of the story. So they'll be in front of the tree ready for you. So starting from the tree there, 
Uh, go to the left hand side, just a couple more things to get now. Look for the fallen tree that is next to the river. Run around the back. There may be some enemies to the right of you if you've not done them yet. That's going to be the final rot for the area. And then at this point you may actually already be done. The final hat is actually tied to the uh, the cart, the shopping cart in this area. So from here, we're just going to run to the opposite side of the tree. So there will be enemies here if you've not already done them. Blue ball in the tree there. And then up the steps you're going to find the, uh, the hat cart, the shopping cart. And once you've sort of gone near it, so once you discover it, that's all you need to do. You're going to get the fox hat, and that's the final one for the area. Like I said, you've probably already got that one if you've been up here already. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That's Tarot's tree completely done. Quite a short area. So next will be the uh, Forgotten Forest. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.